I'm Tom for DIY Life Tech, and this is a look at my Mela Clock and Sleep Trainer from Little Hippo. And this is an awesome, really cute, um, very practical little clock that you can use in your kid's room. I've been testing it with my own kids for about a month now, and um, it's a very cool little clock and sleep trainer. So you can see, first off, it's got this um, nice little hippo kind of style to it. Um, it's got these little feet on the bottom there. These are a silicone material, so it's very kid safe. And you can see it looks like a, a little hippo with a little face on the front that's going to smile and, uh, and wink. And the kids really do love that, uh, that design there. And it's got this big friendly kind of clock face on there. And you can set it and have uh, your basic clock and everything, which is a great um, thing to have in your kid's room to begin. Beyond that, though, if we turn the Mela clock over, you can see there's a lot of different settings that we can engage here. Um, the one that my kids love the most, I would say, is the light ring. So you can press this light button. And you can see that Mela's face is gonna light up and you can press that button multiple times and change the color. It makes a nice little nightlight and um, they love to yell out the color names and then uh, you can change the, the little uh, uh, thing on the front there to match that. So they can go to sleep to whatever color they feel like having, whether that's their favorite color or their favorite color on that particular day. Um, again, you can press that or you can switch it off and not have a nightlight. Another function we love to use in my house is the sound function. So if we press this button, we're gonna get some nice white noise. Uh, it's really pleasant. There's actually three different white noise settings that you can choose to switch really any of the settings on the Mela clock. We're just gonna first start by pressing, let's turn this off, pressing the set button. So we're gonna do sound and then we're gonna say set and then we can choose the different um, sound options by using this little button, the uh, plus and, and minus buttons on here. So we can change this out and make it whatever sound we want. So there we go, we press sound again. We're on the first option here, pressing that button again to switch it. We got like a wave sound and then more of a lullaby. And when we're done, we've chosen the one we want. I'm gonna go back to the original. I like this white noise one the best. We just press that set button again. So again, um, set, sound, and then use the uh, plus and minus to select the particular sound that you want. And then when you press the sound button, it's just gonna come on and off. So great to have that background sound on there for your kids. My kids really like that. And if we wanna do an alarm, we can repeat that same process. We can press that set button and say alarm, and then we can set an alarm for whatever time we want it to go off at. Press set again to go back. Same deal with the time. We can set that by pressing set time and then using the plus and minus to select the time and set the clock. Um, and I've got it set to the correct time on there. Now, one of the coolest uh, functions here with Mela is the ability to do the sleep trainer function. So this is super cool. It tells your kid when it's time to go to sleep, when it's time to wake up in the morning, and you can have an optional play period. And it uses the face on the Mela clock as well as the light ring on the outside to indicate. Um, and I'll mention that Mela is one of my sponsors, so thank you to them for uh, sponsoring me. And let's go ahead and set this. So again, um, like all of the settings here, we're gonna press the set button first. Then we're gonna press this sleep wake here to tell it we're gonna set the sleep wake. Um, and we're gonna say we wanna go to bed at uh, 8 p.m. For example, here you can change these settings again using the up and down button. Um, but I think 8 p.m. is a pretty good bedtime. You can see when we get to that bedtime, Mela is gonna close its eyes. Um, you can see that little design on the front there saying, okay, it's time to go to sleep. So let's set uh, that, that looks good. Let's keep cycling through. Now it's gonna say, the, uh, the time to go into this play mode. So 15 minutes before wake time. Um, this is optional, but I think it's a cool feature. It's gonna uh, change the light color on that ring to a yellow color and tell your kid, okay, you can get up, you can start to play in your room quietly, maybe sit up in bed. Um, and Mela is gonna have this little playful expression with a kind of half smile on there. So it's nice to have that, it's not required. You can also um, remove that function, uh, but it's nice to kind of get them waking up gently. Um, and then here, let me go back in. Timed out there, we just gotta be, gotta be a little faster. Let me go back in here. Um, again, we've got that optional uh, play time. And then here's our wake time. So we can set the time to wake up. Seven seems pretty good. We can also, again, use these plus and minus buttons to change this if we wanna change and say, all right, we're gonna get up really early, 6 a.m. Um, and when we get to that time period, we're gonna get this green color. And that tells your kid visually that it's time for them to be able to get out of bed. And again, um, the Mela's expression is going to indicate that too. Now Mela's smiling, says, okay, great, you can get up. And the nice thing with this, once you set it, is um, that you can turn this into a sleep 
trainer. Um, and that way, when you set this and switch it on, then um, at bedtime, it's going to uh, show their kid that it's bedtime because Mela's little face is going to turn into sleep mode. Um, and then in the morning, when it's time to get up and play, we'll get the yellow around the outside and the playful expression cues them that they can get up and play. And then at awake time, turns green, they can start calling free who, they can get out of bed, they can go downstairs. And if you um, use that over time, then it really starts to uh, let your kid know when they can get out of bed, when they can't get out of bed. If they wake up in the middle of the night and they look at Mela and Mela's face is not green or yellow, then they know that it's not yet time to wake. Now, one final function I think is really helpful here. Um, your kid is gonna really enjoy uh, watching Mela and probably try to press the buttons themselves. Um, if they're bigger, that's fine. My kids like to press the sound and the light button to switch those out. But if you don't want them changing their, their wake up time, for example, um, just use the child lock on here. If you switch this over, it's gonna disable the buttons so that they can't um, uh, adjust those. So super cool, super useful little clock here, um, a little hippo Mela. Thanks again to Little Hippo for sponsoring me. Check this out. It's a great clock to use in your kid's room.